Hey, what's up, Lena users? I'm Jonathan, and in today's video, I'll talk about what creating this paper like render has taught me. Originally, I made this scene as a test for a personal project, but I noticed that through its differences to other 3D scenes, it has its own way of showing important aspects of scene creation. The biggest problem I ran into was the separation of fore and background. Because all materials were basically white, I was left with a render where the focus object looked like it belonged to the background. So here are my approaches to this problem. For me, there were three main ways on how to create a disconnection between the different elements. For one, I could alter the materials, for example make the background a different color. But this wasn't really an option here, because I wanted to stay true to the paper-like render. Another thing that also wasn't really an option was either adding mist or volumetrics to separate the different elements. The other idea was to use light. Light allows us to subtly change the color of the background, but also create an edge light around our focus object. So, just through the use of light, I was able to change the background color to something warmer. You can see that I did this using this low-powered area lamp with a warm orange tone. But I also used this point light to create an edge or rim light around the focus object. And you can see this in effect once I take away the HDRI. You can see that we get this nice ring of light around our focus object. And this really helps to separate it further. The third point is depth of field. You might like it or not, but I used a pretty strong DOF to blur out the background. Of course, we are losing a lot of detail by doing so, but we are putting a pretty strong emphasis on our figure. And you can see that I just set the focus object to the human and used a really low f-stop value to create this blurring you can see right here. So what do I want you to take away from this? I guess I wanted to say that it is good practice to try out or learn about different art styles, because every single one of them allows us to learn something new or in a different, maybe even better way. Of course, this is only my perspective on things. If you think differently about this, let me know in the comments below. To end off this video, I wanted to quickly talk about Cycles X. Everyone has already made a video about it, but I wanted to share my experiences. All in all, it's great. I was able to reduce render times by a lot in all scenes that I tried. Especially in scenes like this, with a lot of ambient occlusion around this foliage part right here, Cycles X performs awesome. So what I want to say is, if you haven't already, just give it a try, the download link is in the video description. And yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing, and we'll see each other in the next video next Saturday.